And we back, y'all. Y'all see what it is, man. Stop playing. Look, y'all. Y'all see what that title here. Y'all know what we hear. Fur. First, first, first. First, y'all. Let me give my disclaimer. And there will be a skip time above after my disclaimer so y'all can skip right to the reaction. My intros are a little lengthy. Helps with the copyright. Plus, I like just, you know, just chopping it up with y'all pretty much. I ain't gonna lie to you. But either way, if you want to come back to the intro later and see what I was talking about, cool, man. Come on back because it is going to be in relations with this film. So, might want to check out what I was saying here in the beginning. But you can get to the reaction then come back, all right, if you want to do that. And appreciate it if you do. If you don't, appreciate you just checking out the reaction. Thanks. But let me give a disclaimer and then there will be a skip time. Disclaimer, y'all. Every movie and show that I watch... The volume is cranked up up here in these headphones. I have my mic volume turned down way up here, right? So I cannot hear myself. Uh, well, I can barely hear myself. You can hear me loud and clear, but I can barely hear myself. That way I can hear the dialogue of what's going on in the movie, even though I am speaking over it. Um, I will be giving my raw thoughts and opinions on what I'm seeing throughout this film So I'm letting you know that ahead before you go in and be like hey, man You're you're talking and sudden again. I have the volume set for I have the wop. Sorry. I have the volume settings set For a certain reason the way I have them set y'all that way I can still be in tune with the movie while speaking But that's pretty much it on disclaimer. You should be able to skip ahead now Do your thing come back if you want to come back. I appreciate it Either way, if you don't, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, look, y'all. Y'all see what that title says, man. Y'all know what we're here for, all right? For those of y'all that have been on this channel for, for a little bit of time right now, I guess, I, actually, I don't know how long, but been been here for a second before this. Um, a lot of y'all recommended this movie over in my reaction to City of God y'all haven't seen the city of god reaction please go check that out if you haven't seen the movie like, do yourself a favor and go see that movie then come back and watch my reaction to city of god okay but either way a lot of y'all love comments over there in city of god like you need to react to elite squad you need to react to elite squad that's all i kept seeing through a few of y'all's comments and not just elite squad y'all no 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 y'all put in the comments Whenever y'all said anything about Elite Squad, you made sure to say you need to react to Elite Squad 1 and 2. Not just 1. 1 and 2. So it's like, okay, y'all are already trying to set me up here where I got to crank out two of these bad boys. You feel me? So you know what? The fact that y'all are kind of spamming this right here in the comments, it's making me think, you know what, this might actually be, this might be a hard movie. This might be a hard couple of movies, one and two. This might be a hard couple of movies that I need to see and add to my repertoire of films, y'all. So I'm very excited to see what's going on here. I hope nobody had, you know, hyped this film up and it's not all that it's cracked up to be, at least from what the hype of y'all have been building up to be because y'all have hyped this up. I normally don't hop on, um, you know, movies that y'all recommend right away. I do get everything over here that I pretty much put out are movies y'all recommend. Um, but usually I don't just hop straight into like what y'all just recommend because I'm still reacting to other films y'all recommended. So I'm trying to kind of go in the order here, but I skipped way ahead and got straight to this, like literally a few days, um, well, a week after I dropped the City of God reaction, um, because y'all kept hitting me in those comments saying, I need to react to this, I need to react to this. So, I said, yo, I mean, the people say, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. So I'm here for it, y'all. It's a little late right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not tired like I'm about to go to sleep or anything because I don't like doing these videos if I'm tired because it takes away the energy that I have in them. So I like to do them when I have, you know, a, a good reserve of energy in me. And I'm I'm pretty good right now, y'all. I'm pretty good. Like I said, it's a little late. Um, I see this film is two hours. And yeah, not bad. A lot of y'all said, um, I guess this gives more of a what do you call it? It gives more to the story of 
some of the the people out of the City of God movie, um, who the stories were based off of, like Knockout Ned and um, Lil Z. Um, apparently, those were real people. I saw a lot of y'all also in the comments of City of God who said I needed to watch to the very end to see the um basically the um real the real people that the movie depicted because it was actual um news footage of the um the gang leader over there named knockout ned where he was talking from the prison they showed the real news footage of that i still haven't gotten to that at the time of this recording but i am gonna go back after this recording and watch what y'all are talking about with that so uh, I appreciate y'all in the comments letting me know I did miss something as important as that within that film. So I definitely am going to go back and see that ending of City of God. So thanks again in the comments. I appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, but I think I talked long enough, y'all, because y'all didn't come here to see me jammer on. And again, it's kind of late. Got to reserve energy here. So I want to get into this video while I still got some real energy left in me. And uh, yeah. I'm just ready to see, I guess, the the story continue of showing, you know, what, what, what's going down over there in Brazil, pretty much, um, the history behind a lot of this, this violence and whatnot, and what, you know, the, I guess, the violence that erupted in um, Rio, Rio, I think this is in Rio, because uh, I know I asked in City of God where, where this was taking place, I didn't have... I didn't pretty much fully know. I was had, I had a few guesses. Brazil was kind of in the back of my head, but I was thinking more like somewhere in Jamaica or in Africa or anything like that because it seemed kind of, you know, with the, the tropical setting and stuff. And I ain't going to lie, y'all. I know it's going to sound kind of messed up to say this and everything, but and I know it's messed up. I know it is. I apologize. I, I get how ignorant this is about to sound. I apologize. For my ignorance, y'all, I do. But this is this is why y'all learn things to get to know more about the world, you know, to get less ignorant of things in the world. But I didn't realize it was so many black people in Brazil, y'all. Yes, I do realize that there is a deep history within that that I would need to know, especially by being black myself, certain things dealing with knowing your history and all that. I understand, I understand, so y'all don't have to tear me up in the comments, y'all don't have to tear me up in the comments, I'm learning, I'm learning more and more, I got, I learn. I know a lot of different things, y'all, okay, and, and some things, I don't know, alright, but that that's one of the things, I ain't know, I ain't know so many black people in Brazil, which is why I was thinking maybe it was like something like Jamaica or Africa or something because of the tropical setting and all that, and I'm like, okay, it's a lot of black people, so yeah. But y'all got no comments. I realized, okay, this is Brazil. I thought the language was a little, that's why I'm like, hey, it sounds a little kind of like Spanish in a way. I'm like, I don't really know too many, but I, you know, my, my, yeah, whatever, man, whatever. But y'all actually stayed this far into my intro. I appreciate it. Um, if you came back to the intro, I appreciate y'all, especially if you stayed this far until after coming back to it. That's y'all wild as hell. But um, yeah, do me a favor, hit that like button because y'all stayed this far and you could have been skipped ahead, or you came back and you didn't have to come back and you stayed this long after coming back to the beginning. So it's like, come on, bro. How was y'all like the video? Like the video, man. Help your boy out, bro, and hit the subscribe button too. That way you're alerted whenever I drop these videos, man. Also, all my playlists are in a neat order. Like, all the shows that I'm reacting to, playlist name is there. Like, whatever the show is, is the show name and then playlist behind it. So, hey, check out the shows that I react to. If y'all are a fan of certain shows, um, all of my movie reactions are in my movie reaction playlist. Literally labeled movie reaction. Check that out. You might find something you're interested in over there. Or, in general, you might start watching something that you haven't seen before and have an interest to actually want to watch the film for yourself. So, hey, do yourself that favor, man, and get over there in my movie reaction playlist and find yourself something that, hey, it just fits with you. You feel me? But uh, enough of the talk, enough of the yabber-jabber. Also, there should be a Twitch link at the bottom. You can hit that. Go over there. Follow me on Twitch. It's free. I do my live stream movie reviews slash show reviews over there on the Twitch. Y'all could be in the live chat and implement 
y'all's thoughts on whatever it is we're reviewing. You can add your own input to it pretty much. And I do appreciate y'all input. It helps with those reviews. It gives more information on those movies and shows that I would be covering. So yeah, I would appreciate y'all being over there live with me. But if you do miss those reviews, I will edit those videos and put them over here on YouTube for your YouTube pleasure. So you will be able to see those videos, but they will be edited. So you will miss basically a full uncut stream. And it's going to be some stuff that's going to be, yeah, you feel me? That's going to be, I mean, you, you just need to see it live. But at the same time, hey, it's cool if you catch it over here on YouTube. I appreciate the support wherever you feel me. But yeah, hit that Twitch link, man. It's free. You can go and follow you, boy. Yeah. But uh, enough of that talk, man. We're we going to go ahead and get into it again. Y'all could have been skipped ahead. The skip time was up there. Appreciate you. You stayed. Appreciate you. Came back. Enough. Enough. Let's get into it. Um, Elite Squad 1, y'all. Let's go. Yeah. Films on uh, it's got a lot of supporters and producers, doesn't it? Wow. Okay. I'm very curious on why it has so many producers and uh I guess supporters. Um I won't do that like y'all in the comments know if I left this part in, let me know. Hey, I don't know what I'm saying, but that shit's like a turd. Hey, 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 what did it remind me of? They turned, bruh. Hey. Man, I feel like some Uncle Luke type shit or something, bruh. That's different. Okay. A lot of drug dealers rule. Okay. Oh, them some gun guns. Like, those are like guns. I don't even know where you get no stuff like that, boy. Ah, dog. So the thugs and the drug lords run Rio. That's what he's saying. How far after the um city of God with the real life does this take place? Mm. I was even the cops scared out here. The cops scared, y'all. That's crazy. They scared that they family gonna get killed if they enforce the law. That's insane. Uh, how many y'all play little fools ball, man? You know I'll slaughter somebody at some fool ball, bro. A verdade é que a paz nessa cidade depende de um equilíbrio delicado entre a munição dos bandidos e a corrupção dos policiais. Não faz parte do jogo. Honesty isn't part of the game. I mean, it never is really. Um, when you play this type of game, in any kind of way, honesty is never part of it. Geralmente da merda. Mmm, it's a double cross. These boy got real rifles, y'all. Like them different type of assault rifles they got in their hands. Like I don't, I know my guy was naming them, but like I don't even, bro, I don't even hear those names like right here like that. Like what is that? <laughs> It's a double cross, bruh. Tá vendo aí, cara? Tá pegando aí, cara? Deixa comigo, compadre. Calma aí. Que caralho. Já viu o Fábio, cara? Vamos aí, Malhar. Qual foi? Qual foi? No Rio de Janeiro, quem quer ser policial tem que escolher. 
Oh. Ou se corrompe, ou se omite. Por causa da guerra. E naquela noite, o neto e o Matias fizeram a mesma escolha que eu tinha feito 10 anos antes. Eles foram pra guerra. Oh my god. Oh, they got scouts on the roof too, though. Like the gangsters, they got people on the rooftops. Whoa, it's on go that fast. Like we just getting right into it. everybody was just partying, music booming, good vibe. Oh, them boy busting. Oh, what is that? What is that? God. D-Boy got artillery, bruh. I don't think it was a smart idea, man. O Neto e o Matias não tinham a menor chance de escapar sozinhos daquele tiroteio. Caralho! O munição tá acabando, cara! My boy ain't going out, though. He ain't going. He ain't going. You all see him, bruh? He ain't going. He's still buzzing. I don't care nothing about it. Like, what? Like, what? Então vamos chegar lá devagar, pode ter policial ferido no local, então é só ter calma. Eu não sou um policial convencional. Ok, what kind of car for you? A boat? Oh, this is the elite squad, ok. Eu conheço, era um... Tatu vai puxar a ponta. É do lado da principal, pela direita. Na teoria a gente faz parte da polícia militar. Na prática, o Bob é outra polícia. What's the difference? Oh, them boys got... Oh, that symbol show with that. I like that. I like that. Hey, man, I symbol show what we about over here. Like, yo, okay. Okay, the elite squad. I got it. I got it. Y'all are different cops. Okay. <laughs> oh. Every day. Damn. Damn. Meu nome é Capitão Nascimento. Eu chefiava a equipe Alpha do Bob. Eu já tava naquela guerra faz tempo e tava começando a ficar cansado dela. Ué, I don't know what none of these artists are saying. But I just like the sound for some reason. The production on this is... I don't know, everything got a good... Everything, you can literally dress... Alright, yeah, it's good music. It's good music on here. Caramba, né? Bate rápido, né? Meu amor, eu tenho que te ligar que eu tô trabalhando aqui. Não, não precisa não que eu esquento no mico quando eu chegar. Também. Tá talking to his wife while in the middle of some serious business. Can't get home because he, he getting to it right now. Os traficantes fortemente armados ou a incompetência da polícia convencional. Vem, Pompeu. Trouxe as peças. Na minha época, a PM tinha 30 mil homens. E com esse contingente dava para derrotar o tráfico. Só que os caras eram mal treinados e mal remunerados. Gente assim não pode andar com arma na mão. Eu só tinha 100 policiais. Only 100? Eu aprendi, apareciam outras três no lugar. 14, deixa os caras fazerem entrega lá que o Renan segura de lá embaixo. Zero one, stop matar dois coelhos com uma porrada só aqui, hein? É 100% 14. Caveira, meu capitão. Cap, like, hey, do what you do then. Oh, God, I'm with it. Hey, Cap said, do what you do then. I already know. Are you sure? Oh, shit, do that then, man. Squeeze that trigger, my boy. Go on, do it. Like, <laughs> two bird, one star. That's always good. Do it, do your thing. E a minha vida estava ficando cada vez mais complicada. Well, that's something to live life like that and then just come home and is regular. Like, where you realize what you were just in the streets, like, man, hey, that's regular though. Okay.
I couldn't be normal. That's that's weird to just be normal. Like, how can you just be normal doing what you you do for a living? That's some scary stuff. So he don't even get just stay home for like a day. Oh, that's not good, bro. Eu não tinha engravidado. Hum. You don't want to feel like that. No, she's like, hey, she don't even want the kid. Like, like she'd rather I had a kid. Yeah, dog, bruh. Beto. I guess. Then she still try to feed, bruh. E quando o preço fica alto demais, é hora de pular fora. So the man don't even eat, he just comes home, lay down for a little bit and goes straight back to it. Capitão Fado, chefe da manutenção e comandante da primeira companhia. Capitão Oliveira, chefe da terceira sessão do Estado Maior. Agora vocês se encontram em estado probatório. Serão avaliados diariamente por mim e pelo meu Estado Maior. Quero que vocês saibam que esse time de oficiais, o qual tenho a honra de comandar, além de ser uma grande família, é um dos melhores da corporação. E o Neto e o Matias acreditaram na mesma conversa mole de sempre. Era um Neto e o Mas era de caras assim que eu precisava. Quer dizer, na verdade, eu precisava da inteligência de um e do coração do outro. Se eu pudesse ter juntado os dois, a minha história não teria sido tão difícil. That's the way of picking them right there. You need the brains of one and the heart of the other. Like, that, that's real. That's right. Hey, that's a duo right there. That's you could do something with that. Não, não, senhora, preste atenção. São 46 viaturas e 12 motos. A sua função é fazer essa porra toda aqui funcionar, né? Baixa na embreagem dessa daqui, ó. Mas acabou de chegar, tá nova. Só porque tá trincado para a brisa? Tá trincado para a brisa, eu sei, mas olha só, aproveitei. Motor de arranque, embreagem, mais duas viaturas na rua como sua. Tá bom, tá bom, tá bom. Again, for some reason, if y'all didn't stay through my intro. I said somewhere in there, I didn't realize it. Again, my ignorance, and I'm learning more of the world, y'all, each day. I didn't realize there's so many black people in Brazil. This. O Neto era um cara impulsivo. Ele agia antes de pensar. They called it, man. Sabendo essa pilha de papel? Cada folha é uma ocorrência, é um crime que a PM não impediu. Damn! That's a lot of crimes! Na mão do Matias, ia virar estatística. Aqui é o aspirante Matias, vai trabalhar com vocês aqui a partir de hoje, registro de ocorrência, tá certo? Sim, senhor. Tua mesa é aquela ali. Desculpa. Qualquer coisa é só me procurar. Bom trabalho aí a todos. Nenhum dos dois estava à minha altura. Mas um deles ia... Tomar a bola, gadget, man. Muito bem, muito bem, turma. Bom, então aí, então... O Matias era inteligente e dele céu assim na corporação. Só que o Matias era muito ingênuo. O cara achava que cursar direito tinha tudo a ver com trabalhar na polícia. Hum. Para ele, os policiais e os advogados tinham a mesma missão: defender a lei. Então, não é a mesma missão? O Matias ia ter que cair na real. Aqui que é a de sociologia? Qual o seu nome? André. André de quê? André Matias, por quê? Você tá no nosso grupo do Foucault, tá? Mas como assim? Eu já já te explico. Hum. Eu do Foucault, tá? Oi, tudo bem? Eu sou a Maria. Esse aqui é o Dudu, a Roberta... Policial do Bob, parceiro. Tem que saber onde pisa. Você vai fazer Foucault, né? Ah, Foucault? Foucault. Eu também queria fazer Foucault. Esse cidadão aqui que tá vindo visitar o Rio, acho que vocês sabem quem é também. Oh, the Pope be coming to Rio. That was a thing. The Pope was coming to Rio at one time. Does he still come to Rio? I don't really keep up like with the, you know, the the Roman, the Roman Catholic thing for real like that, y'all. But yeah. where the Pope be at? They gonna keep the gunfire out of the streets while the Pope is there. Why don't you keep it out the streets every night, bro? Like, man. 
They gonna keep gunfire down while the pole there. That's wild. Okay, so the pole. So the Pope really viu o Papa baleado na sua cidade. Se o Papa perto de uma favela, o que vocês acham que o governador vai fazer? Correr o risco de uma bala perdida. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, I wanna travel, y'all, but I don't I don't know if this would be a okay place to go and not, y'all. Cause I heard Brazil is very beautiful and seeing these movies and getting to see the small bits, it looks like an incredible sight, bruh. Yeah, kind of, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all let me know what Rio might be talking about nowadays. Like, kind of what, on what level, you feel me? Like, where we at? Muito policial, rapaz. Não pode subir a favela, não. Nego te mata lá dentro. Faz essa porra sozinho. Yeah. Cara, fica tranquilo. Ninguém na faculdade sabe que eu sou policial. So you can't even, in your own personal life, like outside of your job, you can't let it necessarily be known you're a cop. That is, that's wild, bruh. Who would want a job where you would get killed or your family would get found and tortured based off of just you doing a legal job? Mm. Oh, yeah, I like how they got this city. Is this like a whole city in Rio? This looks so different. Why does it look so, I don't even know no words to describe it. It's a lot. In a good way. Oh, what's up, Rose? Oh, shoot. I know. Hey, I, hey, I can remember these names for some reason. Like, what's up? Oh, <laughs> my boy out there in the streets. É difícil. Ok. Quem é que não gosta de se dar bem com a menina bonita, rica e bem intencionada? Sounds pretty cool to me. Pretty rich girl with good intentions. I mean, she's rich. Pretty. She's got good intentions. Sound cool, bro. <laughs> Eu não sei como, Matias, não percebi. Uma manifestação das relações de poder, tá? E que na verdade não há contrato social nenhum. Entendeu? E que sempre administra as instituições. Palavra. Isso, né? Instituições para vigiar e punir os criminosos. Entendeu? Como o Panopti Conde Beto, que era aquela prisão da época que a gente já, que a gente já tinha estudado. Para Foucault, a análise histórica dela. He, can, he has to ignore the fact that they're doing illegal. Nah, he just don't, he just don't mess with it. Não, 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 obrigado. Daqui, daqui, Beto. Daqui é exatamente o que o Guzmão pediu para gente. Né? And he has to pretend like he doesn't enforce this and he's so serious about the law, y'all. Yeah. But it's not like they're, you feel me, on some super hardcore criminal stuff. It's just a little, you know what I mean? Like, chill. What's up? Okay. É, é um A também. Ele tem problema de vista, não tinha reparado isso ainda. Hum. Deve ser por isso que ele tá indo mal na escola. É, eu, quando eu tinha a idade dele, tinha essa mesma dificuldade. Vem, vamos contar pra sua mãe? Ah, so one eye is a little bit. Pra ser um capitão do Bob, o Matias tinha que aprender que não dá pra perdoar. Oh my God! Não vai zoar nada, você vai tirar nota boa na escola, isso sim. E aí, Tim, tudo bom? Tudo bom, Vitor? Tudo bom. Beleza, minha. Fiz aquela prova. 
Fez a prova e aí, passou? Passei, passei. Garoto, tá vendo como valeu a pena estudar? Yo, my boy, Andy. Bea. Fala, André. Vou ter que ir. Mas já, André? Eu tenho hora pra entregar o carro pro amigo meu, o Neto, você não conhece ainda. Tá. Então tá. Bruh! Garotão aqui, deixa comigo. Eu levo ele pra fazer exame. Faz ah, questão que de isso, ele. André. Não precisa. A gente cuida disso não. Né? Fizeram isso por mim quando eu era pequeno. Quero fazer isso por ele também. Questão de honra. Tá bom. Tá bom? Uhum. Beleza? Tá My boys in real dangerous territory here, y'all. This is so... I, well, I can only just look, y'all. Like, I'm sitting here like, yo, my heart. Like, yo, what's up, then? What we doing? What, what, what we gotta do? Termina a história do baiano, mas eu não sei como ela começou. Aros história é fosse fodida. Eu não vou aliviar por causa disso, mas pelo menos eu entendo como ele chegou onde chegou. Fala, galera. Hum. Pelo que eu tô vendo, nevou aqui na montanha, né? Uh, rapaz, o negócio tá bom. I thought he was like some candidate do like some political person. Why does it look like he's é o sujeito que nasce com oportunidade e termina entrando nessa vida. Teste, tem na pista. Valeu. Isso aí. Pra mim, quem ajuda traficante tem que ir pra cadeia. Ok. Um minuto aí, irmão. Valeu. Vem, vem. Vem, calma aí, irmão. Pô, got that primo. He got that, he got them things. Vai, yo. Tem que ter aqui, né? Só? Porra, irmão, você acha que é fácil pegar o bagulho do bom sem pagar antes, irmão? Tá, pode trazer mais. Se liga. O seu? Tem dois mil aqui. Ok. Se tu pegar mais desse, mano, pode trazer que a galera aqui tá muito boa. Oh, so they buy like that? Quantas crianças a gente vai ter que perder pro tráfico só pra um playboy enrolar um baseado? Y'all, is that on? <laughs> Is the primo big like that out there in Rio? Like, what Rio hit on? <laughs> Yo, my boy's moving. I don't know nothing about 117. Was bruh sleeping? I know, Captain. So, Nascimento, you go with your team for the beck, but go with care. A entrada do 117 é do lado da faculdade, tá cheio de estudante. Ciente, Cavalho. Já avisei que vai dar merda isso. Nascimento. Ordem são ordens. Vai todo mundo convergir pro Largo da Raia, que fica no... What's up, Uero? Tá tudo entendido? Caveira! Yo! What's up with Bruno? What? Why does he look like that? Is it his nerves, or is it he's just tired and worn out? Like, why was he looking so out of it? Because again, I see he doesn't really sleep. So, is it nerves, y'all? Like, is it so much wearing on him? Oh. Yo, that's the kid with the primo. That's the kid with the primo, ain't it, y'all? Pra mim, estratégia uh -oh. tecnológica quando a missão tem sentido. A operação do Papa era uma burrice. Numa situação normal, eu só ia ficar puto, mas meu filho ia nascer. Eu não podia dar bobeira. Eu não queria morrer. Okay, so it was nerves. So my guy is nervous. He doesn't. He doesn't want to die. He wants to, you know, be a father, his child, or whatnot. So this is very dangerous and risky. This is a for no reason type mission. Like, Cap ain't with that. Sh is he really that nervous? Y'all, is he really that nervous? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. He look a little off. Oh, oh. I'll be a little bit worried if my cat was looking like that. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I'm be like, yo, we gotta have to bail. Yeah. 
Yo, Cap. Cap, hang in there, please. Hang in there. Brother, are you okay? Oh. Damn, man, you got yo. Seu maconheiro, seu merda. A gente vem aqui pra desfazer a merda que você faz. Cap kind of, he kind of, you know, at him, ain't it? Cap, you ain't got to call him all that, bro. Like, well, Cap just calling D-Boy the F-words all around the world. Yo. Oh, I'm like you snitch. Vou para delegacia com a carta. Eu sou aqui, vagabundo. Calma, capitão. So I'm guessing he did what he was supposed to do in that situation, y'all, because I'm guessing, like he said, they're not regular cops, so they're, they, and I think you gotta be a little rough out there to a certain degree. Like, y'all saw they had to shoot off top. It wasn't no freeze, put your hands up. It's just, we bussing. Them boys living different out there with that law out there, bruh. pobres. Hum. Muito bem. Finito? É isso. Acho que a Maria... Oi, Guzmão, Diga. queria falar aqui. É, eu, na verdade, até concordo com a opinião do Edu, ah. em parte, mas eu acho que a polícia não age é, perversamente só com as classes menos favorecidas. Eu acho que nós, da classe média, classe alta, também somos vítimas desse bando. Uma vez eu... A Maria e a Natália, a gente tava indo pra Búzios, a gente foi parada lá naquela Blitz, os caras foram Abriram, totalmente agressivos com a gente, apontando arma, arma, na cabeça, arma, cabeça tudo, é, mas, querendo peraí, 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 mas eles não bateram em você, né? Não bateram. O boy just gotta sit there too, y'all. He can't look like he really got a problem with what they saying. If anything, y'all just kind of look like he agrees to a certain degree. The Canadre Massacre. What is that, y'all? What's he talking about? What's the Canadre? Pronounce it for me, y'all. I'm sorry. But the massacre he was talking about. Oh, boy. Don't, don't expose yourself, my boy. Don't expose yourself. Acredito que na polícia tem a corrupção, tá? Mas em sua grande maioria, os policiais querem fazer um trabalho honesto. Olha, um trabalho tá maluco, irmão. Tá louco, velho. Don't expose yourself, bro. O Dudu tem razão. O Dudu tem razão. Quem foi que nunca passou por uma blitz como a gente passou em Búzios? Todo mundo, o tempo todo acontece, virou rotina. What's up, these checkpoints, y'all? Oh, so they be taking their money and everything at these checkpoints. I ain't gonna lie, my boy did just shoot some dudes last night, but them boys had some gun guns, and I don't think they were gonna put their hands up. E o melhor amigo dele é policial também. E os dois são honestíssimos, tá? E com relação ao lance de búzios, eu acho que tem que reprimir mesmo. Tem que reprimir mesmo, cara. I ain't gonna lie, you kind of not even supposed to even admit to knowing any cops, I would think, right? Just like your family wouldn't be allowed to say they know a law enforcement. Because, you know, they'll try to find the cops through them, whoever the cops are. Mm.
my boy takes it very, very personal, y'all. He he takes it personal. He takes it personal. My boy take it personal. That's real. I think he needs to leave that school on that though because it seems like he is more than just a friend that's a cop. It seems like he's the cop also, y'all. Like, which is why he's so passionate about it. That the kind of question you gotta ask a mother. Oh, damn. Vocês acham que eles iam perdoar? Traficante mata fogueteiro que dá mole. E no fundo eu sabia disso. A mãe do fogueteiro So that boy got a death mark on him for snitching. Damn. Era sim, senhor. Já tinha passado da hora de colocar alguém no meu lugar. Bruh's too nervous to continue doing his job, y'all. He wants to be a father of his child. This job right here that he's doing is literally some Suicide Squad type stuff. <laughs> These are the, like funniest mechanics in the world. All you can do is just literally just go with whatever they say. <laughs> <laughs> These mechanics are gold, bro. I think we are. I need some mechanics like that to work on my car right now, cuz I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Existia até resolver os problemas do batalhão. Só podia dar merda. Então, fala, Espera. Tô com problema, é que trocaram um motor com pressa. Fala. Trocaram o motor de Santana novo. Responsável. Eu sou. É, você. Bruno quer about that. Tô com um monte de viatura baixada aí, eu tenho que pegar peças de batalhão. Presta atenção, não deixa arriar a viatura do comandante, hein? Me pediu atenção especial nessa porra. Sim, senhor. So everybody else don't matter. Fala, aspirante. As peças que estão faltando. Caralho. Essa pra caralho, hein? Não vou dar uma olhada pra você, pode deixar. Mas você vai falando com o Fábio que ele pode te arrumar alguma coisa no comércio. Mother you just gonna ball that sh You know I wrote on that shit. But hey, bro, I had to take time to even write on it. And he done toss it out the way you so bitch. Like, yo, this dude fell. Hey, like he said, bro, fell for the bullshit. That same man, I am honored to be your captain. Man, f you. <laughs> O primeiro roubo é sempre por uma boa causa. Agora, quem corrompe pro batalhão também corrompe pra família. Also, again, y'all let me know how this ties in with the knockout Ned story and Lil Z story. I think y'all said this was after those events, which was the start of all of that, I think. So this is some after stuff with including with the elite squad. So I'm very curious on the um the accuracy of how they're displaying them in this movie also this elite squad in the way that the whole system is set up out here. Desenrola com ele, vocês estão tudo da mesma casa, ô capitão. Desenrola com ele lá, capitão. Quer um exemplo? O governo estava tão fudido que não tinha grana para comprar reboque para a polícia. 
resolveu alugar os reboques e pagar por carro rebocado. Vem aqui, porra. <risos> What kind of... What is up in this city, bro? This is just... We have a real conundrum here, fellas. We gotta get some worked out. Damn, that looks like some good shrimp. God, what, what kind of shrimp is that? Oh, man. So whose area is it after? Yo. <laughs> bruh, need them parts, bruh. <laughs> oh, sh oh, my God. Good. That is the commander's bike. Eu disse que a moto comandante não pode parar na oficina, não pode dar baixa não, senão não pega o arrego do bicho. Caralho, agora eu entendi essa porra. Né? Não, e outra, antes todo mundo dividia dinheiro, agora só a quadrilha e o comandante, a gente fica na merda. O sistema não... Yo, the commander is wild, yo! Bro, right here is wild too, though, he having to go through it, like, yo, this is my area, like, not anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, I'll take some time, huh? Okay. My boy smiled, looked them in the face, and said, Sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> Motherfucker. So you gotta pay to get a guy. AK, man, f this city. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. That shit got me mad, bro. Everything really got to be paid for. That's bullshit. Come on, bro. They laughing. <laughs> That's some real corruption, cuz. This can't even have vacation. Yo. Yo, you gotta pay to pay for a vacation. Yo. Eu tenho certeza que foi tentativa de suborno. Ele tem como provar? E se ele não tem como provar que. E aí, amor? Vai subir ou não vai? Amor, tá tudo bem? Yeah, this is the. Wow! Yeah, y'all just don't know how much that irritated me then. Berto stuck up there, ain't it? Berto, what you doing? What are you doing, Berto? Bert oh, I think Berto lost somewhere. What's going on? Is he having a panic attack up there? Bruh. Yeah, that's panic attacks. It's panic. Oh, I said them nerves, y'all. It looked like he was so nervous. He having panic attacks. That's he really got a. He got a. He he said he looking for his replacement. So is the rookie supposed to be his replacement? And if that's the case, how did he go about? Thinking that for the rookie to be his replacement. That's why I'm thinking, y'all. I'm thinking the rookie's gonna be his replacement. Maré zero, maré zero, negativo quanto a corpos de área de maré 19. Moro ele não, moro. Estão em área de maré 2. É mais fácil mudar o local do crime do que localizar os criminosos. Tem muito comandante safado que reduz a criminalidade jogando na okay. área de outros batalhões. Ué? Que na PM, parceiro. Ninguém fica de bobeira. Maré zero, os corpos se encontram em área de maré 19, ciente? Só der. Só que ele estrela da puta. 
volta, coronel. Pega os corpos e joga lá. Ele joga aqui, eu jogo lá, ele joga aqui. Agarra, cara. Oh, my God. They're playing musical chairs with dead bodies. Oh, my God. Cause this can't be a thing. Cause this cannot be a real thing, bro. What? Y'all tripping, bro. These mo is tripping out here, bro. I don't, yo, I got a, I got a curve language and everything, y'all, for YouTube. But this, this is starting to become a little too much, man. Like, come on, cuz. Like, they tripping, man. Like, whoo. They been tripping, boy. Wow. Enfrentando uma dificuldade. Capitão. Só posso responder a sua pergunta. Se eu souber realmente. He having panic attacks, man. This man really wants to be a father's child. He realized his work is literally it's a death wish. That's crazy. Do they still have these jobs over there, specifically this elite squad stuff? Is this a thing in Rio still? Let me know. And do does Rio still require something like that? Damn. Who would want to take a job like that, bro? I'd rather be the gangster. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro said he can't talk about it. He can't. Damn. <laughs> the Pope mission, bro. Come on, bro. That's so f bro. Let this man be a father, cuz. This Pope mission shit is crazy, so they gotta keep the streets silent for two nights, bro. You see the type of stuff that pops off on a regular? How you supposed, bro? You really putting yourself in some serious? I don't even know how you, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. This man, bro. And on one, this man shaking nonstop. How long has? And he said he been doing this for years too. That's oh boy. It, this is the type of job that really wears on you. Where we at in Rio? What is this? I'm here for whatever, man. <laughs> you broke. Oh, bro took his area, y'all. Commander Chivin, man. <laughs> Oh, they getting some money. Them boy, why? Bro, hey, so hey, what you think this is? <laughs> My guy need to get some. He need to get some like stress pills or something, y'all. He be. My boy pressure going up. <laughs> yeah, he going up. Tava tudo calculado. Demorava uns 40 minutos. 40 minutes. O jogo do bicho, o maior arrego do Coronel Otávio. Pô, longe de Chama o Paulo logo, chama o Paulo logo pra resolver isso. Hum. Quando o Neto liberou a moto, o Matias já tinha feito o recorde. Grande sardinha, esse é o homem. 40 minutes to rob, bro. I love it in the mechanic. So, oh my God. I love that mechanic, y'all. Y'all, whoever, I want to see a whole movie on the mechanics, y'all. I ain't going to lie. Em nome do coronel, entreguei o dinheiro para ele. Puta que pariu. Que puta. Porra, foi genial. Não, não. Vem para cá. Vem para cá. O coronel vai fazer o quê? Chamar a polícia? <laughs> o Neto usou o sistema contra o próprio sistema. Oh, man. Era uma puta de um burrice. São 10 viaturas na rua agora, Matias. Porque o coronel não ia dar barato. Hum. Mas o Neto, pelo menos, tentou consertar as coisas. É. O Matias estava insistindo no erro. Olá, André, vamos lá falar com ele. Não, vamos 
rolar não, pô. Resolveu. Aqui, fecha aqui. Olha quem é que tá chegando lá. Ah, my boy looking like y'all. My boy cool, man. He cool, bro. They say my boy narc, y'all. He a narc, man. He ain't no narco. He's a narc. Come on, man. They tripping. My boy got dance moves. Só porque a gente tem um apartamento em Lebron. Não dá pra ver. Vou botar uma pilha nesse pilha. Pera aí, eu não falo na cara. It's always somebody wanting to go f*** with people for no reason, bro. This is how s*** get started. Just, uh, it's somebody that just wants to go f*** with somebody just to f*** with somebody. Can't you just mind your business, chill, and enjoy your time with some females, bro, or whatever you want, bro? Like, just chill. Everybody just wanna. Hey. Wait, what? What is it? What's the song saying? Oh, is this like some uh, NWA? Police type, what is this? Hey, my boy, okay. He like, hey, whatever, bro. I'm gonna take this. It's all right. Well, who need it? Who need the police? It, I saw a little, it displayed a little bit of the song in the subtitles here. Police who need you, or something like that. Pol Eu quero que você vá verificar pra mim uma denúncia de body funk no Morro da Babilônia. Eu, senhor? É. Sim, senhor. Hoje à noite. Hoje à noite? Hoje à noite. Sem pensar. Como o senhor quiser. Com licença. Pra esse cara, o castigo ia ser muito pior. E se não fosse por isso, a história do neto do Matias nunca teria se juntado com a minha. Amor. Oh. Ok, so this is how they're gonna, their stories are gonna intertwine with one another. Okay, that's why. Uh, why? But why does my guy who got his area took by the commander have to keep going through these headaches? Like, bro, just chilling, trying to be corrupt, and and people keep. Oh, don't have a panic attack at the. Come on, man. Caralho, deve ser foda não poder enterrar o filho. You gotta get out of there. See, I knew it, y'all. That's why I'm like, how do you stay normal? How do you stay normal, y'all? That's what I'm talking about. How do you stay normal? Because he's just like, it's normal, bro. This is not normal. <laughs> hey, I'll be, hey, be freaked out every day. Motherfucker, I'm running this? Bro, do you realize how crazy all this is? Like, these boys are on a death mission. <laughs> Yeah. That's how that goes too, y'all. My boy on go. Like, come on, bruh. Bruh corrupt, but he doesn't seem like a bad corrupt guy that's just, you know, killing people while being corrupt. He just seems like a corrupt, and corrupt still messed up, bruh, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy, y'all. But so my boy Net on them, they they trying to they trying to make sure that what they did with the information they gained from Brub, without him actually being part of it, that he doesn't get killed in the So who did Neto shoot at the beginning of this? Cause I thought at first he shot he shot the the captain guy right there. So who did he who did he shoot then? Cause it seemed like he's trying to protect them. Yeah, a lot has transpired so quickly, so fast. It has not slowed down. Like, come on, man. And it's only half the movie. 
This is only half the movie, bruh. That does not make any sense. Why is this only half the movie? I thought this was the end. Y'all see how crazy this is? Oh my God, bro. Come on, let's go. Favela, parceiro. Faz merda. Yo, Cam took off. Yo, yo, y'all saw my boy use the shield. Got that strapping. Yo, that one got him. Hey, shoot that shit out, Cam. Hey, hey, Brennetto tripping, cuz he tripping. He, he, he had an injury trigger thing in them nerves. Oh my god, y'all. Neto, you started some shit. No. So he, oh my god. This started really because of his, his nerves, y'all. He jumped the gun, literally. Oh my god. <laughs> what the f is going on? They are. Brett said, yo, they lost their mind. The cops shooting at each other, bro. I don't even know which one of the cops to shoot at. Like, just shoot at both of them, I guess. Like. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, Oliveira. Call boat. Call boat. Call boat. Hey, you hear my boy crying in that call boat. Call boat. We need boat. We need a lead. Them boys busy right now. Oh my God, they're busy. Y'all, they are really busy. They, wow. He's not dead. <laughs> Yo, what is this? Why, why is it this slowing down, bro? Come on. They really torturing this man. So he literally has to go into a whole different mode when he is actually on the job like this. Because, bruh, the way he snaps into it, even while being nervous, is insane. He's not dead. They literally pretty much killed this man. Carvalho, tamo indo para aí já. Foda, os caras fazem a merda, a gente tem que limpar. So they just kill him? Ah. Them boy busting, y'all. What the I getting that on? Hey, he ain't. Hey, he still go. He still go hold it down. Hey, he holding it down. Let me call boat. We need boat, please. <laughs> Oh, they get the running when they see Boat, don't it? Y'all, them boys real deal, ain't it? Like, oh, no, that's Boat. Y'all, we got to get out of here. Jump that gate. Jump that gate. Yo, they taking them boys serious. They on some real hit squad type stuff. How are they trained, y'all? Like, what type of training do they go through exactly? This is almost for sure like some military type tactics. I would say almost like a Navy SEAL. Well, similar at least on land how they're moving. That type of operating system they got going here. The way they're silent, moving quietly, creep Y'all. What type of training do they go through for this? They literally took him down instantly. Yes, sir. Come on. 
So they just leave a body just laid out there, okay. <laughs> so their paths is crossed, y'all. I'm guessing he's gonna be He's gonna be cast replacement, y'all. Okay. I can kinda see it. Maybe, maybe not, but I could see it. Cause like he said, he's looking for a replacement. Hmm. Marginal, envolvido caça níquel. Vai virar chiclete de caveira. Hum. Mas a gente pulou esse Fábio. Eu já ouvi falar desse cara, é um capitão, né? Isso. Fábio Barbosa. Aí você é barra pesada. Hum. Cafetão de puta em Copacabana. Why are these cops so dirty? Yo! They, they pimps, they drug dealers. What, what kind of. Yo, these cops are on some other stuff, bro. Like, I didn't think pimping. Hey. Hey. O Bruno falou que isso é ótimo. What kind of stuff are they doing to these people? They this is not good training, y'all. I don't think that that's why I was wondering what kind of training do they do here, y'all. This sounds a little too extreme for training, bro. Like, come on, we we talking about. Cut hands, we talking about eardrums, bro. Whoa. Stop. A verdade é que o Matias era um cara dividido. Hmm. Ele queria ser policial, mas também queria se formar advogado. Mas, well, my boy want to do a lot. Se tivesse a polícia do curso. Cara, acabei de conseguir o estágio do Matias. Legal você arranjar outro namorado, Maria. Deu merda, Maria. Oi. E aí, baiano? Tá tudo certo? É tu que vai me dizer, dona. Uh... Coronel matava ele. Coitado. O cara não sabia que perto de mim o coronel era uma moça. <laughs> so my boy thought he was escaping one demon but going to a whole devil. Okay, let's get to it then. Let's get to training. Os convidou. E nenhum, nenhum dos senhores é bem-vindo aqui. Hum. Preparem suas almas. Damn, prepare their souls. Já nos pertencem. Oh, straight like that? Eu declaro aberto. Oh, training camp. Let's go. Especiais. Go on the boat training camp, y'all. All right, all right. Okay. We got some fire. We booming. What's up? Caveras, avança! Eu reconheço que para quem não é iniciado, o Bop parece uma seita. Mas é assim mesmo que a gente tem que ser. Os nossos homens são formados na base da porrada. Para entrar aqui. O cara tem que provar que aguenta a pressão. O senhor é 01, é porque o senhor vai ser o primeiro a desistir. E eu vou fazer o senhor desistir. Pede pra sair. 
Pede pra sair! Pede pra sair! Pede pra sair, senão você vai sair de baixo de porrada! God damn, chill, cap! Zero um desistiu! Zero um desistiu! De cada 100 PMs que tentam fazer o nosso curso, cinco chegam ao fim. E quando eu fiz o curso, parceiro, foram só três. Nem o exército de Israel treina soldados como a gente. Uau! That's a... Um, that's a low percentage of, gradua of graduates, isn't it? Pra lutar na guerra contra o tráfico, o cara tem que ser capaz de aguentar tudo. Conceito de estratégia. O senhor está anotando? Sim, senhor. Vou pedir isso na prova. Em inglês, strategy. Strategy? That sounds strong for some reason, né? Estratégia. Em italiano, estratégia. Why are they learning all of the translations of strategy? Hold on, what the f are they learning all the. Fell asleep. You asleep? You asleep? You asleep, boy? Holy sh Yo! Boy, yo! Explodiu o turno inteiro. O senhor vai explodir os seus colegas. O senhor vai explodir os meus auxiliares. Is this real? O senhor vai dormir, seu 05? Não, senhor! Estamos todos confiando no senhor. Dez minutos tá bom, senhor. <risos> tá, tá de sacanagem, xerife. Xerife. Não, brincalhão. O senhor é um fanfarrão, xerife. Os senhores têm dez huh? segundos pra almoçar. Ten seconds? No, 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 no. They gotta... They eat off the gr... Os senhores entenderam? Sim, senhor. They get them like dogs. Holy fuck, yo! They're fucking dogs, yo! This is a different breed of. Você pode me explicar essa comida aqui no chão? Não deu tempo, senhor. O senhor acha justo no país como o Brasil, onde as pessoas estão passando fome, seu 06? O senhor deixa. O senhor pode chegar na comida agora, seu 02? Sim, senhor. Então o senhor ajoelhe e coma a comida agora. Eu quero ver o senhor comer essa comida inteira, senhor 02. Sem frescura, Sim, senhor. Se o senhor não comer essa comida inteira, esse turno inteiro vai passar a madrugada na água. Oh, man. Team going to the water. Se o senhor vomitar na comida dos seus colegas, os seus colegas vão ter que comer essa merda. Não, não, não. Why they keep doing my guy like that? He just wanted to be a corrupt cop. He just wanted to be corrupt. No. Why? <laughs> they ate it, bro. What? Wow. A primeira fase do curso é só porrada. O objetivo é eliminar os fracos e principalmente os corruptos. Oh, that's a way of weeding that out. Wow. Os corruptos se fodem primeiro. 14. Fecha a pomada pra ele. Senhor 02, eu tenho novidade pro senhor. Sim, senhor. O senhor é o novo xerife. Não. O senhor tem um minuto para me colocar essa farândula em forma na área do cerimonial. Sim, senhor. Não. He can't even hardly move. 23, vambora. Já passaram 20 segundos, 02. Passaram 20 segundos. Sim, senhor. O turno tá em forma. Sim, senhor. Olha para trás. Tá em forma esse turno. Fica em forma. Sentido. Fica em forma, sim, senhor. O turno está em forma, sim, senhor. O senhor tem certeza? Sim, senhor. O turno que está desamarrado. Seu animal. Seu animal. 02, me acompanhe. Sim, senhor. 
<laughs> what? My bridge. Hey, Pedro wanted to be a regular corrupt cop, bro. That's it. <laughs> And you might as well go on about your business. Oh, my God. 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 Você vai buscar o bote? Sim, senhor. Você vai me buscar aquele barco? Sim, senhor. Vamos ver se o senhor vai conseguir. Sim, senhor. Oh, my God. Don't do it, bro. Just go home, please. Pede pra ir embora, seu merda. Go, bro. Não, não escutei. Não ouvi. Eu não consigo mais, capitão. Yeah. Eu desisto. Like he said, corrupt cops aren't accepted, bruh. So there was never a chance, man. Atenção, boom! Disco! Stop! Frente para retaguarda! Oh, man! O novo xerife, 12. Senhor, desiste, senhor! My boy gave him up off of go. He like, nah. A nossa cerimônia de desligamento. Ele fez a besteira de voltar para a faculdade. Why did he go back to school? O dono do morro tá entendendo? Você tá entendendo o que tá acontecendo? Você tem ideia de quanto tempo eu tô batalhando para trabalhar na ONG? Quanto tempo eu batalho para aquilo acontecer? Você tem ideia disso, André? Calma, Maria. Calma. Calma, não. Você não tinha o direito Cara, de colocar minha aí, vida em risco. Precisa gritar pra André, falar comigo. você é um filho da puta de um mentiroso. É isso que você é. Você é um filho da puta Escuta de um aqui, mentiroso. Eu não, não podia falar. Pera aí, cara. É. Maria. Well, part of the game, man. That's what come with it. Oh, I ain't trying to be at risk, man. Daqui um mês, mais ou menos, acho que dá pra sair. Ficaram três oficiais no fim da primeira fase. E o Azevedo escolheu o substituto dele primeiro. Tá dando direção, alvo! Pra mim, sobraram o Neto e o Matias. Fogo! O senhor tá sem bandoleira, 23? Quer dizer, o companheiro seu cai no chão baleado, se eu pegar esse fuzil, vai fazer o quê? Vai jogar no chão? Não, senhor. Vai enfiar no cu? Não, senhor. Então bota a porra da bandoleira? Não, senhor. Porra! Damn. 20 anos de curso, porra! Damn. Yeah, it can't be messed. Everything gotta be damn near perfect at this point. Policial do BOP não entra em favela atirando. Olha pra frente. Fecha a cara. É cara de mal mesmo. Entra com estratégia. Pro grid de beco em beco. So they do this. They do this so much that in the real field they can do this without even thinking it. It's just natural movement for them. Boa, 06. Boa, garoto. É isso aí. Fatiou. Passou. Vai embora. Padrão. Padrão. É isso aí. É isso aí. Stay in the shadows. That's why. Chegou a cobertura? Chegou. Sem afobação. Pode estar o pau quebrando. Você vai fazer tudo com calma. Olha pra frente. Nas condutas de patrulha, eu não admitia eu. Homem com farda preta entra na favela pra matar. Nunca pra morrer. Quem fosse me substituir, tinha que saber disso. Yo.
Like for real, you are messing up. You messing up. He needs that replacement, y'all. Uh, <laughs> and is is and he can't leave his man. Honestly, he really can't leave him unless he finds somebody truly as capable as him. That's some wild boy. Mm. He can't quit unless he knows that somebody as capable as him leading. Yes. And, oh my God, bro. It can't even have this type of argument right now. Só tinha uma coisa que me deixou. E pior é que às vezes, mesmo sabendo que ela estava errada, eu obedeci. Isso aí, irmão. Isso aqui? Tem certeza? Só é o seguinte aqui contigo. Não olha ela nos ovos aqui. Com a Índia que linda, cara. Índia, caralho, parceiro. Faca na caveira, irmão. Vamos lá, então. Os policiais já se informados no curso do BOP saem de lá acelerados. E o Neto gostava de ação. Assim que assumiu a minha equipe, ele caiu para dentro da Operação João Paulo II. Ele queria garantir o sono do Papa. Só so he... na ponta da minha equipe. Já tinham morrido mais de 30 vagabundos no Turan. Woo! So he really took over. Ok. O nosso curso prepara os policiais para a guerra. E não adianta me dizer que isso é desumano. Tô indo, gente. Fui. Aqui tem um papo com você. Ô, moleque. Vem cá. Calma aí, pô. Calma aí, pô. você. Fica tranquilo aí que eu não vou te prender agora, não. Quem falou que tem medo disso, pô? Tira esse sorriso da cara aí, meu irmão. Tá vendo esse óculos aqui? Tô. É pro Romerito. Bem. Tira a mão. Vocês nunca prestaram atenção no moleque? Quem vai entregar o óculos sou eu, entendeu? Não, não, pô, pede pra Maria. Meu irmão, vem cá. Você perdeu a noção do perigo, meu irmão? Se você não fizer o que eu tô mandando, eu te prendo, entendeu? Traficantezinho de merda. Tá pensando que eu não sei o que você vende aqui dentro, não? Yeah, why do they call, keep calling them playboys for the insults? What what does that mean out there? Um, if they say it, in, I guess in that tone, calling them a playboy. Não vou levar nada hoje não, baiano. Faculdade lá tá sujeira. Como é que é? Que comédia é essa, irmão? Tá sujeira por quê? Aquele PM lá filha da puta, pô. A minha só me prender agora, cara. Que PM? Qual é patrão PM? Que história é essa aí? Ô, oh, ô. Oh. Como é que é essa parada aí? Só uma parada aí, mano. O que é que ele falou? Que parada? Que parada, irmão? Que parada aí, seu função do caralho? Fala aí, meu. Fala, André. Aí, esse é um recado pra tu, cara. Que recado? Ligaram lá do escritório do Botelho de Carvalho, marcaram uma entrevista contigo amanhã às 10 horas da manhã hum. e eu confirmei. Uma boa, really bad dude, the lawyer, Stu. Não quer mais favor dela, não, cara. Você tá maluco, André? Porra, tua oportunidade, cara. Tu tá estudando pra isso. Pega essa porra desse trabalho, meu irmão. Dá, Playboy, qual é a ideia? Não pode esperar mais um dia. Como é que vai ser o bagulho? Não. Dá teu papo, vai dá teu papo. Beleza, não, porra, vou falar tudo. Ele vai, vai trazer vai, aqui, vai, ele vai, vai trazer aqui. Não, 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 vai ser aqui não, pô, vai ser aqui não. Oh, mas tu sabe que isso é importante pra mim, né? Sabe. Onde é que tu marcou? You don't, bro. Vai ser no flipper, pô. Que horas, é, porra? Puto, patrão. Dá o papo, irmão. É meio dia, irmão, é meio dia, pô. Tá ganhando ou tá perdendo? Perdendo. Ganhar, rapaz. Zé, dá mais ficha pra ele aí. Bruh. Benito, qual é pra tu 
Quando ele chegou, vamos lá, patrão. Tranquilidade, irmão. Tem criança na parada? Relaxa, o cara tá cercado. Legal, né, Sim, senhor. Para de palhaçada, irmão. Oh, my God. Senhor, é melhor você ir embora. Entra pro bar. Entra pro bar. Yo. Tira não, tira não. Não atira não, que eu vou finalizar esse treino da puta. Que porra é essa? Que porra é essa, porra? Bruh. Ah, porra! Filha da puta do bobo, porra! Ai, atividade, atividade! Eu matei o wrong person. Você é maluco, mas não pode ser burro. O baiano sabia que matar um homem do bobo era assinar a própria sentença de morte. Só que traficante também não deixa barato. Ele sabe que não queria PM na favela. Dessa vez ele ia cobrar geral. É guerra. Que isso, cara? Por que vocês estão entrando assim, meu irmão? Cala a boca, cadê o rato do cara? Tá vendo aí? Oh! Oh oh. Abaixa essa arma. Pelo amor de Deus, abaixa essa arma, Tim. O que que tá acontecendo? Oh, boa. Dá pra escapar. Ele levou dois tiros nas costas. Quando ele tomou os caras do céu na mesma hora, né, velho? O seu amigo tá bem? Não. Eu fui na delegacia, André. E eles me disseram que não pode, não podem me ajudar. Oh, Merito, como é que tá? Ele tá bem. Ele tá comigo lá na minha casa. Só que, só que levaram a Roberto e o Rodrigues. Fica tranquilo que o baiano tem consciência social. É sério, André. O Rodrigues ele tava sangrando. Você não me disse que era um policial honesto? Ah, agora eu sou policial. É. Nessa altura do campeonato já mataram seus amigos. Já Já avisei, já avisei. Quem me deixou de nada, meu patrão? Não. Não. É. Não. Damn. That's some cold bloody shit they doing, bro. Oh my God! What is up with people like, bro? Come on, man. How do you even? What? What do you even do to think of something like that? Do you just sit around, just? You know what? How can I kill one of the some people that cross me later, bro? Like. Você não fala mais do meu trabalho nessa casa. Você tá entendendo? Quem manda nessa porra aqui sou eu e você não vai mais. Quem manda nessa porra aqui sou eu. You have to keep them separate. You have to keep them separate. And at the same time, bro, just the nerves still now. Okay. Só volta quando eu receber recado meu, tá entendendo? Pra onde? Você vai pra onde? Fala pra mim, pra onde você vai? Vou ficar por aqui mesmo. Silvio Fontes, e do agente social Pedro Rodrigues. A repórter Ana Luísa está com o secretário de segurança pública que acaba de fazer um pronunciamento sobre... Hum. Come on. They really did my boy Neto like that. They did my boy Neto like that, bruh. He was just helping out a friend on a mission to save a little kid's eyes and whatnot, bruh.
And my guy right here, Captain Phil, responsible, cause he like, nah, he wasn't even supposed to be in charge. I wasn't supposed to, I knew he wasn't supposed to be there. And hey man, every choice got a got a consequence to a certain degree. You can't regret that shit. Like, yeah, you you try to be a father and shit, man. Like, <laughs> oh no. I don't know y'all, would y'all pass on a responsibility to somebody who you don't feel is actually fully ready just because you're trying to, you know, get to something that you feel is more important, at least personally to you? Hmm. Hmm. Perguntando o que você veio fazer aqui. Eu acho que eu posso te ajudar. De que jeito você pode me ajudar? Eu conheço alguém que pode te ajudar. Quem? Eu só vou dizer se você me... É a Rose. I guess harm would be not killing her. What? They get the job done however they get it done, don't it? Do this and protesto é só para morte de rico. Quando eu vejo passeata contra a violência, parceiro, eu tenho vontade de sair metendo a porra. <risos> Damn. Para com isso. My boy really do come out the slums for real, y'all. Wow. Wow. Matias had enough, y'all. Matias had enough. Ele tava se transformando num policial de verdade. My boy, hey, he, I don't think a lawyer is in his category anymore, y'all. I think this man is boat captain now. Matias might be boat captain now, y'all. Like, essa missão Neto já tinha cumprido. O que eu precisava era voltar para minha família e deixar um substituto digno no meu lugar. Matias has changed, y'all. This is all changed him. Manda tua equipe fazer um 360 ali em cima, André. Sim, senhor. Ali naquela entrada ali. Não tem ninguém na pista, não. Sim, senhor. Vamos tocar esses vagabundos casa por casa. Abre! Damn! Damn, that's the way to wake up right there. Like, my God. It felt like somebody slapping the shit out of me. Like, <laughs> Posso ficar à vontade? À vontade. Zero quadro. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. He's okay with you searching, searching his room. You wake me up like that and a bunch of guns pointed at me. I think, yeah, 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 y'all do what you do, man. I ain't got y'all want some coffee or something? Like, yo. Hey, Bruno, you lost. Go, go, go. 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 Go, Eu não concordo com tortura, capitão. Outro quer dia embora? a gente pega esses caras. Se cara. você quiser ir embora, você pode descer. Pega a tua equipe e vai embora. Leva esse cinco aí contigo. Tá com pena, leva contigo todo o cinco. Huh. He said, you can get the fuck up out of here, cuz. You feel so bothered by Hey, we gonna do what we do. <laughs> Cap ain't playing, y'all. Deixa eu falar uma coisa pra você, filho. Eu não quero machucar você. Eu não quero que você saia. Oh, my God. Cadê o baiano? Cadê o baiano? Hey, no, Fala, Eli, I just want you to know beforehand, 
I don't want to hurt you. Just letting you know that beforehand. Before I hurt you. <laughs> What is up with this bag? Yo, this bag has... I think this bag is the most dangerous person in this movie, y'all. This bag has done a lot. Why they use it like that? Is it causing them to bleed more too? Or are they just beating the shit out of them and keep bagging them? Take off his what? Hey, wait a fucking second. What kind of party? Oh, shit. What are you doing with that broomstick, Captain? This is a boy. No, 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 no. This is a boy. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, I think they really was about to possibly shove that broom. What elite squad on, y'all? What is elite squad on? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. For good when it's that quiet and you want to run like that. Shit. Shit. Oh boy, look like they got they man. They got they man, y'all. Oh boy. Thirty grand. Você já perdeu. Você vai morrer. Na cara não, chefe. Para não estragar o relógio. Na cara não para não estragar o relógio. Oh, they definitely gonna shoot you in the face, né? Baiano já era meu. Zero sete. Dá doze aqui. Solta o moleque. Deixa esse moleque embora. Deixa ele embora. Agora só faltava o coração do Matias. Aí a minha missão já tá cumprida. E eu ia voltar para minha família sabendo que tinha deixado alguém de. Porra, na cara não? Not in the face, bro. This man, this man wanna be, I mean, presentable for the wait. Come on, bro. Can he do it? I think Matias is the new captain of both, y'all. And we back, y'all. Y'all see what it is, man. Stop playing. Y'all. I really do not know what the hell it was I just saw. I don't know what to describe that as. I don't know what to call that. I don't know what genre of film that is. Um, yeah, y'all. It was too much happening there. Like. Like, it was too much happening. Is this how it goes down on, like, or is this how it used to go down at one point in time back in back in Rio? Or is it somewhat similar to this still? And if so, has it calmed down a little bit since, I guess, that time of what they were displaying here with the Elite Squad? Or has it ramped up even more than that? Either way, I'm very curious on what was going down over there in Rio. Um... I'm not too many uh, too too familiar with places in Brazil, but I do know they're the big thing called the I forgot what it's called exactly, but it's this big carnival thing apparently that goes on in Rio. I don't know when it takes place and how often it it happens, but I've heard of the big big um carnival thing in Rio that goes on. Like I watched um like other movies that display what what movie you know what. I don't think the animated movie Rio about the the birds or whatever. I don't I don't think it shows necessarily this side of Rio. This if if this is still a thing out there in Rio. I don't I don't think it it it, it shows <laughs> Rio correct. <laughs> yo yo, but for real though, man, like that is 
that's a different that's a different way of living right there bro like you talking about a real place Again, I don't know if it's anything like that at all in today's times. I'm not sure. Um, but at least at one point in time and possibly today's time, it's crazy to see that it's it has to be a level of a truce um, between the drug dealers and cops because it's like, yo, hey, you go, if you try to take down drug dealers, true, they'll be going after the cops' families and stuff like that. And, of course, you know, the drug dealers is like, well, they are the cops, and, well, they, they they can do shit, so they'll be coming, arresting us, messing up the money, killing us, too. And, eh, it's just a lot of unnecessary back and forth killing on each side. So, hey, you know what, let's, um... You feel me? Like, like, let's do a truce or whatever. So, my boy said they were gonna do um, uh, it was gonna do a truce. Like, yo, on top of that, you know, you'll get we gonna throw y'all cop boys some money and shit. You know, so hey, everybody kind of wins. Y'all don't bother us, and uh, feel me? We try not to um do too much that would require y'all to have to necessarily be bothered outside of the other illegal stuff that we're doing. So it, it, it's wild to be living in a place where that's like a normality. Feel me? Like, hey, yeah, there is, of course, such things a dirty cop. A lot of dirty cops, but it's a lot of good cops too. But it's definitely a such thing as a lot of dirty cops, y'all. Everywhere, no matter where you go in the world. But it is, I guess, different, different versions of how these dirty cops can operate within these different societies so it seems like in areas like i guess what mexico um i'm guessing now i'm learning rio um out in brazil uh areas areas kind of like that in a way i guess the it's this level of cops and criminals for sure kind of like not buddy buddy but Definitely partnership type stuff, like real deal partners, you know, with the under basically an understanding. Um, so it seems like that that seems to be a thing. Um, depending on where it is you are in the world, again, levels of corruption exist everywhere, but I it's it's a different level in some place. And I'm saying Rio, yo, this is out of hand. And like, yo, you got cops that's pimping. You got cops that's damn near drug dealers themselves. And you got all the cops, of course, doing the regular, you know, they're taking money from the drug dealers, you know, to a lot of drug dealers to, you know, drug deal. <laughs> so it's like, you know, that's the regular corruption. But damn, man, like these boys is, I don't, I, like I said, I don't know what the, what the even say here, man. It's a lot of stuff going on in this film. Um, again, I know I asked somewhere in my intro, if y'all stayed from the intro, or if y'all went back to the intro, you know, spent the block, y'all checked out that intro, because again, it relates to the movies that I watch, um, but I said somewhere in my intro, and I think somewhere in the reaction, uh, I was asking about what, exactly where does this take place after the whole um, little Z and knockout Ned story from um, City of God, which are based off real people. And like I said, I like I said somewhere in the intro, I know y'all said in the comments that I didn't watch all the way to the. I turned it off before the end, which showed real footage of I think knockout Ned when he was speaking and whatnot from the prison. So. Um, I'm gonna, like I said in the intro somewhere, I'm gonna go check that out. I am gonna go check out the end to see that, that clip. But I, I think y'all were saying that this was like, um, after that, this is the history. This movie shows the history that takes place after Knockout Ned. Sorry about that. I got a little update going here, y'all. But it shows the history um, after Knockout Ned and Little Z. Um, so this whole world of Rio, this exists, I think, after those events with Little with Lil Z and uh, Knockout Ned. So to fight against, I guess, this 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 way of criminal breed and whatnot, even within. Um, 
or not. I don't I don't see them necessarily going out the police. I, I think they probably would if the order was given. They would definitely go after um some cops that might be heavily corrupted. But um to fight against this new criminal element within Rio um developed after knockout Ned and Lil Z, I'm guessing. Um they formed this this elite squad a certain set of police officers who aren't who aren't regular police officers they're damn near a military force but they're a very small unit i think dude said it's like 150 of them something like that and rio from what i'm guessing is a super large city in brazil like super large so to have only 150 people on hand to deal with damn near a whole city of real deal criminals carrying like real assault rifles I ain't scared to blow some shit back like it seems like they're a little um understaffed for that type of work so they have to go through a lot within training just to even be within the um, elite squad. And as we learned with my guy who was under the commander who had his area taken, who went through with the tow truck driver and everybody, uh, they do not like dirty cops in their unit. They do not accept dirty cops. Um, I'm guessing even if you're no longer a dirty cop, but if you were known at some point in time to be a dirty cop, they do not want you in their unit. They do whatever it takes in training to make you quit if you were a dirty cop. Um, so yeah, they made my boy quit. That's messed up. Um, yeah, y'all, but otherwise, I guess this story is is a focus on the captain of the elite squad and the two rookies um Neto and Mati Matia I think I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name Matia it's something like that y'all know who I'm talking about my guy with the glasses the black dude but Neto um he was the guy that was kind of all heart and Matias. I think he was the guy that was just, he was all brain. He was more focused on the, on the logical, well, not logical, but um, mental side of things, basically. Like, dude with heart, he was more gun ho. He just wants to get into action and be a super, you know, super crime fighter and get rid of criminal elements off the streets. Like, he, he was a man on a mission mission, you know what I mean? And my boy Matias, he's like, yo, I like I like to get down like that too, but I want to also be this lawyer to make real change. But somewhere down the line, man, I mean, my boy Matias, he had to switch it up, man, because he just wanted to help out a kid. He just wanted to help out a kid, still actually do his lawyer thing he got my boy netto to fill in for him to go help the kid out and in the process they took my guy netto out man when they took netto out and tears hey he took the gloves off he like hey all that lawyer shit man we ain't here for none of that all oh, that's dead they they man they killed the homie we ain't here for no more of that now now i'm about to unleash some y'all ain't even think is it boy Hey, Matias turned up on him. Like, Cap already felt bad because he didn't want to put Neto in the in the spot. He didn't want to um, put Neto in his spot because he didn't feel like Neto was truly ready, um, that he would operate in a, in a, you know, in a capacity like he would. So he was already hesitant about putting Neto in his leadership spot to replace him. But like he said, he he sometime allowed his wife to uh convince him of things against his own better judgment. Now that's not to say he's blame he didn't actually blame his wife. He's a, he's a grown man. He makes his own choices at the end of the day. So he ultimately, from what I see, blames himself, of course. But he has to take that angry out. So when Neto got killed, you know, he kind of took it out on his wife, man. Basically, in a way, kind of like, man, it seemed like it was her fault that he put Neto in charge. And, and, and this went out of the realm, technically, of, you know, him placing Neto in charge. Because this had 
nothing to do with any type of mission. So it wasn't like it was a failed mission or anything. So I don't see the captain just being himself over that love like that. But from what I seen at the end, uh, we we ended with my boy Matias uh, kind of from what I, I'm seeing blowing somebody's muffin cap back blue and whoo. Boy, he took that toy. Hey, bro, said, just not in the face, man. Come on. I, I, come on, man. Let me look cool, but wait. Just a little bit. Man, fuck your way. Like, yo. Yo, Matias. Well, hey, Cal said, hey, after this right here, I know Matias for sure can take my place. The boy, hey, Matias ain't playing. He out here beating people, bagging people, shoving broomsticks. Oh, hey, man. Hey. <laughs> Yo, them boys is rude. Like, I do not know what I just watched here, y'all. I need to know how real is this squad. Like, literally, how real is this squad? I need to I need to know, is this an element that still really exists out there? And does this squad still exist? Are they a lot larger than what they used to be if they do exist or are they still those low numbers? Because it seems literally like, or for real, a real deal specialized military unit. Uh, I would relate it, like I said, somewhere in the reaction, I think I would relate how they operate somewhat similar to um, Navy SEAL somewhat, um, even with their boot camp to a certain degree. I would say it's almost similar to what Navy SEALs would do. Y'all let me know. What, what do y'all think? Like, what, what exactly, if y'all know anything about this actual, um, this group, what is their training derived from? How much of what they shown here when they do go through the boot camp stuff, how much of that is true? Like, and come on, man, were they really slicing people with knives and fucking blowing up eardrums and shit? Like, man, bro, chill, bro. Chill, man. I'd be like, come on, man. It ain't, it ain't that serious, man. Like, you really causing some real physical harm. These boys having to eat off the ground like dogs and shit. Oh, they ate that man. Throw up off of that stuff, y'all. So, man, I'll be quit. Hey, I would probably quit like they Well, I ain't gonna lie. See, I would quit within like damn near 10 seconds. Like, so they started beating up on motherfuckers and slapping them, say you want to quit. Say I'm mean, like shit. That first slap, I'm like, hey, psh, say less. If this this was going on, I ain't got it in me, bro. I ain't about that like that, man. This shit. Hey, the employment office ain't say nothing about this part of the job training. Like, <laughs> oh man, hey, for real though, man. Them boys is ruthless, but. Nah, y'all, this this film right here, I had a good time. Now, y'all definitely y'all re y'all recommended that I watch Elite Squad one and two. Now, I I I kind of want to see Elite Squad two now, especially uh if it continues. I guess with Matias, uh, I want to see what he does as the new leader of um the Elite Squad. I want to see like. How much does he change? Because like, he definitely changed up. He he definitely um his personality. A lot of that has now been altered through through his journey throughout what he's seen now. So I'm very curious on um uh, you know what how he plays his role as the new captain because. Hey, that when with the elite squad now you gotta you gotta transition into a whole type of. A whole type of animal, you know what I mean? Especially, see, just as being one of the foot soldiers in it, you got to be something else. But to be the person in charge of them, ugh, you got to be as worse. You, you got to be way worse than your foot soldiers if you're in charge. Like, you got to be the person point blank. They know, like, yo, this guy right here, you think, you think these dudes, man. no, no, no. This guy right here. <laughs> you have to be that person right there. Like, hey, man, Matias, he didn't took on a real change here. He lost a friend. He lost a well, girlfriend. Hey, Matias, hey, man, my boy, he he went through it. And like I say, he started with two rookie cops on a mission. Um, Pretty much just, you know, naive to the game. They were naive. They were rookies. 
they were rookies, so they were still learning, you know, how, how things really worked. And see, he had his head high on his shoulders. Neto, hey, he just wanted to do good things, and he wanted to, you know, be this super badass cop. And at the end, it was what it was. Neto lost it, and Matias, he, he took on a new role, and man, y'all. Again, I I just do not know. Two hours really flew by with this movie. Two hours really, because everything was just so, everything was so ramped up at a certain point. Like, right after we was at the beginning, y'all, and I guess my boy uh, Neto had the itchy trigger finger when the shots ran off. At that point, right after the shots went off, this movie has just been going up nonstop, and it just wouldn't stop for nothing in the world. So, Man, y'all, <laughs> I do not know what I'm watching here, man. Like, for real, I don't know what I'm watching, man. Like, hey, man, all I know motherfuckers throughout this movie just tripping, bro. So, look, like I said, I'm definitely going to get into the, to the sequel, but I'm going to need y'all in those comments for sure to let me know that y'all want the reaction to the sequel of this film. I need y'all to let me know, bro. Before I actually bring it, I got to hear y'all actually say y'all want it like that, bro. Because y'all want I'm definitely going to deliver it. I'm going to deliver it. I promise you. Um, And also, at the same time, though, at the same time to show me how much y'all really rocking with this, bro, just hit the like button. It's right there. Hit that like button, man. And then hit the subscribe. So then you can even know when I drop the reaction to the second film. So y'all will already be in the loop. You feel me? Y'all with y'all with y'all boy already. So hit the like, yeah. Let me know y'all like the video. So that way it's like, yeah. They really, they really definitely like this. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna get the second one out because they they definitely like it. I'm seeing all these likes for sure they like it. And then at the same time, of course, I want y'all comments more than any of that. Before a like or a subscribe, I wanna know what y'all thought about this film. Y'all, did this give you some type of, if you're not from Brazil, did this give you some type of insight, look of how Brazil, you know, like like those sides of Brazil that necessary doesn't necessarily get displayed in uh, mainstream media like that when it comes to, I guess, them offering, uh, not offering, but them basically having the the vacation stuff for there like for people to go tour and stuff like tourist type stuff did this give you a certain i guess inside look of what rio might look like outside of a vacation brochure basically uh because for me like i said um disney channel with the with the rio bird movie i don't think they showed the side in there they i think they showed an the alleyway they showed the alleyway. They showed a few shady characters in that movie, but I don't think they showed nothing like this. So like I said when when you think of Rio, like I said, I'm very well. I'm not familiar, but I know of the carnival. Again, I don't know the name of the carnival, but I know the big, big, gigantic carnival that takes place in Rio. Uh, again, I don't know when it takes place. I don't know how often it's done. So, but I know of it. I've I've heard that that's the big thing out there. Um, when a lot of people do travel that way, um, they go for that that carnival. Um, so I'm familiar with that. But outside of that, I don't know too much about the place. So I'm kind of gathering. I'm guessing every everywhere you go, again in the world, you're gonna have those beautiful, lovely spots, the nice places, and you're gonna have the the underbelly type spots, the spots where it's like, hey, you probably don't want to go. You come here to the U.S. Spots like that, definitely spots like that. Go over somewhere. I'm guessing in Brazil. I'm guessing I don't. Not every spot in Rio is. Well, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all got the people that's out there in Brazil or from Brazil or have visited Brazil. Y'all let me know. Is Rio fully kind of like that all over Rio or is it like certain sides of Rio? Because I think Rio is one of those, like I was saying in the in the reaction, I think Rio is a large city out there in Brazil. I think it's large. So 
Y'all let me know. Is it just like maybe certain sides of Rio that are like what was displayed in City of God and here in Elite Squad? Is it they're just certain sides like that? Or is it kind of the whole Rio is kind of like on some type of war zone stuff like that on the regular? Like I'm I'm very curious on the life over there after seeing these films. Um but yeah, it gives it gives somewhat of an insight of what it what it looks like, I guess, in some parts of Rio, as far as I, I can say from the information I know right now. Like I said, I'm waiting for y'all in the comments to let me know how it is over there for real. Um but oh uh, but overall, yeah, y'all, it was again too much here. And again, y'all, I do review these movies and shows that we react to like i i do real in-depth reviews of these movies and shows over on my twitch which y'all can go and follow twitch link should be at the bottom of this video y'all can go over there follow me on twitch and then you know when i go live y'all will be notified y'all can come over there get into the chat and put y'all own thoughts and opinions which will add to the review because hey these reviews are not just formed off of me they're formed off of y'all who Hey, like, love these moves and shows just as much as me. So, man, we have a good time over there. So, and at the same time, if you do miss those live reviews, which I'm telling you, you don't want to miss them. But if you miss them, they will be added and put over here on YouTube for your viewing pleasure. So, y'all still be in tune with, you know what I mean, what we got going on all the way through. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, just throw that in there. Just throw that in there. But um, here with... Elite Squad, um, Captain found his replacement with Matias at the end. Is he found a new calling? Um, I guess all wells ends well in that world for them. Uh, again, with the captain, the guy that's playing the captain of the Elite Squad, he, I, I like, I like this, I like this actor that played him. Uh, I really like the actor that played him because he. He gave off this nervousness really well, like him trying to compose himself the whole way throughout this, make sure his nerves do not bleed out in any type of way, which could basically um cause like failure on one of these missions, which could cause which is death for any of his people and last thing you want to do is lose any of these men that are under your command and trust their lives to you and to your leading role of them surviving so he had to make sure his nerves didn't bleed out which would possibly cause some bad decisions in this already risky like just beyond like it, it's like come on man this is literally death missions this guy is doing like that's, it's it's a small number of them going against a large, large population of heavily armed criminals, bro, that don't give a damn about busting that trigger. Like, they, they will pull that trigger, point blank. So, but it seems like there's a certain fear element. Now, that's also what I noticed, too. It seems like there is a level of fear, even from those hardened shoot them up criminals who will even shoot a cop that they are scared to a certain degree of the elite squad so as soon as they see that they may have killed somebody from the elite squad they immediately go on a the run they don't just hang out in the city like it's all good as if they killed a cop uh and that i'm pretty sure that'll bring on a lot of you know a lot of problems for them too they killed you know a regular cop out there but the elite squad though that's something different like it seemed like they really feared the elite squad in this film so i'm wondering do the criminals really like someone have a fear of the elite squad like basically like, yo we're not gonna mess with them all right like hey do whatever you do not mess with any one of them like hey we're gonna sell these drugs we're gonna kill some gang you know some some people with the opposite gang we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of stuff man but uh make sure you do not touch one of these these elite squad guys that's that's unnecessary you know fire we don't need on the, don't just 
Stay far and clear from those guys. Those dudes in black with the skulls, you walk the other way. <laughs> it, hey, my boy took off. Like the, the drug dealer dude, as soon as he realized he killed um he killed Neto and whatnot, he took off. When he saw Neto was um elite squad, he took off. He was like, yo. Gotta get up out the city. He he told his girl to go to uh go to her mom's and whatnot. He he gotta go on the run. Um, of course, Matias ex girlfriend she gave him information that uh base gave. I think she gave the information of um where one of the drug dealer dudes who was connected with the big drug dealer girlfriend was. It may have been been the big leader who they killed at the end with the shotgun. But either way, they gave, the um, Matias Ace gave him the location to a person who would know the whereabouts of how to get to the big drug dealer dude. So Matias got the uh, team together. They went over there and they put that bag to work. Y'all, that bag, I think that bag probably did the most damage in this movie. Y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. And they, it was some stuff. It was some gruesome stuff, y'all. Every I know some stuff had not even some stuff. A lot of this shit had to be blurred for sure. Not even just for the copyright with YouTube, but this stuff has to be point blank blurred because this it's a whole lot of we got a lot of white getting used out there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We got a lot of white snow out there that's getting used. That can't be shown for sure on here. We got a lot of body, you know, um, uh, what you call that? We got a lot of, uh, <laughs> 80, I was, uh, we got a lot of, uh, musical chair body movement going around. Yeah, we got some, some gr grotesque stuff, some real deal gruesome stuff being shown here. So I know a lot had to be blocked just in general for YouTube, not even just the copyright, but just in general, because Y'all, I need to know, is it really hard like this out there? Because this this, this is not normal. That's why I was saying even in the beginning, y'all, like, yo, the cabin, he just goes home after that. With, like, And he just lays down next to his wife and wakes up and just as if it's a normal day, bro. Do you realize what you just did a couple of hours ago? You had to you had to basically kill some people, man, like. I, I I don't know, bro. I don't think, regardless of what side of things you're on, I don't think um, uh, I don't think what you could just kill somebody and uh, I'm gonna go uh go get some eggs. Like I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. I, I cause I ain't never got to kill nobody, so I don't know. So that right there, for him to seem like it was normal, and he said somewhere in that beginning i think that he was doing that he was in that war for years meaning he he if that's a regular night this guy's um got a lot of ooh, a lot under his belt so I, i'm already wondering then like yo how does he seem normal like there's nothing normal about that but as we got further along we started to see the captain trembling you know, him starting to get shaky and eyes kind of bulging and just kind of twitchy. And it's like, yo, whoever the actor is playing this captain, he's displaying like this underlining tone of just he's there, you know, on the outside as much as he can be, which is kind of cracking. And you can see on the outside, you don't really clearly see um, that he's really... He's really um cracking. He's really cracking under the pressure. Like this man just wants to be alive, to be a father to his child, and boy, the type of job he he he's doing is like he's like, yo, man, I'm not gonna live too long. And on top of that, it, uh, another a uh, worst case scenario would be somebody who happens to really. You know, have a hey, be crazy enough to want to hurt me so bad that they go after my family and now my kid, my wife. Like this man, it it, it becomes different. Don't I'm guessing when you do that type of work, that type of suicide. Ah, oh, yo, you know what? Can I say that? Can I say that, y'all? Because I realized I know we use certain keywords. 
thing on here. I think so because people are doing reactions to the movie, right? The actual like DC film. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say it because I don't know. Well, nah, I'm gonna stop saying. It. Damn, I probably if I didn't block it out in the in the in the, um in the reaction, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Ooh, I hope it don't cause issues. But y'all heard what I said though, y'all. So the the Sue and Delph type just you're not gonna live type missions basically y'all uh these missions uh y'all they are <laughs> first off i need to know is that a thing too like if, if the pope comes out there do do they send the elite squad on this this mission to basically go crazy in the streets just to make two nights go silent in Rio while the Pope is there. Just two nights to be completely silent of gunfire that the elite squad got to basically go causing war for real. Like, they they got to be crazy. Yeah. I don't even know how to talk about the elite squad. Y'all, it's too much. It, it, what I say is too much. I mean, it's too much, y'all. This is definitely going to be one of those movies I review over on Twitch, though. I'm definitely going to... I'm going to get something together for this because this right here, man, I want to see number two now, though. I'm not going to lie. I want to see number two, y'all. I want I want to see what the sequel talking about. Is Matias, um, the captain in number two, is he still doing his thing? Is Captain actually retired and being a father to his kid and just enjoying his time with his wife? Like, I, I want to know, bro. I'm ready to get into the next one. I'm a, I, nah, nah, I can't do it yet. Got to do a straight. You know how many movie movies I got to edit up right now, y'all? How many different shows I got to edit for y'all right now? I'm going to have to go ahead and get to that. But I will get to number two. If y'all tell me y'all want the sequel to this, y'all want to see my reaction to the sequel, y'all want to know what I'm thinking. I'm about to say, hey, y'all want to know what I'm thinking about the sequel? Y'all want to see me watch the sequel, y'all? Y'all want to hang out with your boy for the sequel? Let me know in those comments, man. I promise you, I'm going to get to it. Also, yeah, hit me on the information that I asked about, too, because that stuff I am very curious about. I'm not going to look up anything. I'm going to leave it to y'all. Um, And I'll probably look up stuff later on after, you know, I get more feedback from y'all on, on what it is with everything that I ask and whatnot. I'll um, look into stuff myself after that point, you know, just to make sure. Okay, you know, you got to always look up stuff yourself, you feel me? So, but I'm going to wait for y'all first, and I'm going to hear what y'all say. Then I will look into more of this myself. But, um, yeah, yeah, y'all, I hope y'all had a good time throughout this this whole reaction. I know I did. I know I had a great time with this movie. Um, I'm glad y'all actually stayed this long into it. And, uh, man, hey, shit. I'm going to just catch y'all on that next one. You feel me? I mean, got plenty over here on this channel. If y'all go to my playlist, everything is neat. You feel me? So every show that I'm reacting to, the name of the show is right there in this playlist. Every episode is in the playlist. All the movies is in one playlist for it. That playlist is labeled movie playlist. So all of my movie reactions are over there, of course. And y'all can make some recommendations. Put a few recommendations. Don't just put one movie or one show. Put a couple of movies or a couple of shows with whatever you want to see me react to. Have a few because I I love movies, y'all. I love movies, so I've seen a lot. But again, it's also a lot I haven't seen. A lot of great stuff I have not seen. So definitely leave a few few movies or shows you would want me to react to that way hey if i seen it it's okay that right there that you said too i haven't seen that so i i have something to add to the list y'all i appreciate y'all helping keep my list long like this y'all because i got a long list to go down y'all a long list i already created a long list myself but y'all added on to that list like crazy so keep on adding to that list people please because this is this is just starting to get way more and more fun with y'all, bro. So anyway, I had a great time. I hope y'all did, man. Uh, I'm gonna catch y'all 
over on whatever else you find over here. I do hope y'all find something else over here. Um, or I will catch you back in the reaction for the sequel to Elite Squad 2. But do me a favor, man. Do me a favor. For those of y'all that been here for a while, y'all know what well, y'all know what it is. For those of y'all that's just getting here, all I ask, same thing I always ask, man. I just want y'all to be safe out there, man. You feel me? Just be safe, man. So you can come back, kick it with your boy a little bit more, and we can get in some more movie goodness like this. You feel me? Either way, I'm going to catch y'all on that next one. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it, y'all. Y'all be safe, bro. I'll catch y'all, man. I'm out. Yeah.